My name is Helen Molema, and I am a single mother of three boys, two who are teenagers, and we live in the Bay Ward. <coughs> so I'm, uh, I would like to bring your attention to the seriousness of uh, mental health crisis and the tremendous impact it has in not only my community, uh, but uh, in the city at large. Um, due to the increased uh, mental health crisis, along with many other issues caused and increased by the pandemic, um, there has been a significant increase in conflicts between neighbors, substance misuse, loitering, vandalism, and lack of self-care and community care. While some of these changes existed before the pandemic, there has been significant increase due to the pandemic. I know this because I see it I, and I live it. These challenges and struggles that exist in my community and many others in our city are not going away without necessary resources. Communities thrive when needs are met and important services such as mental health support are accessible in a timely manner. Therefore, access to trained professionals such as social workers and counselors working directly in the community is extremely important for people who need immediate access to mental health support. We need more support in our neighborhoods, support for single parents, especially those who already deal with so much stress from caring from that, for their children and making sure that the children succeed in school. We all want the best for our children. We need support for parents to get, we need support for parents to help them in order to support their children to get through school, regardless of their social class. Therefore, it's imperative to, al uh, to allocate more funding for accessible mental health services and resources directly located in communities and neighborhoods. So I ask the council to allocate the necessary resources and experts to help our communities. I'd also like to see more treatment facilities and supportive care when these when patients are discharged as they recover from mm -hmm. home and also support for their families to help them with the recovery process i want to see the opportunity well, of being probation. able being available to those who don't have the don't funds or insurance the mothers families, those who live those who whose lives are harder due to systemic racism members of the bipoc community street involved youth and those with no means to help themselves once again Thank you for the opportunity to speak before you and hearing my thoughts and ideas around how we can increase mental health support in our city. Thank you. Thank you, Helen, for the delegation. We have a, a question I wish you could just pass that along to the next delegate. Hi, Helen, um, on your counter. So uh, <laughs> it's good to meet you. And okay, thank Teresa. you for coming out and telling us your story and, and uh, the need out there. Teresa is uh, we're authentic hearing a theme today, the definitely. Time, so. of, uh, of, of what's needed in communities and again this is about it. our partnerships um, um i'm also chair of ottawa community housing Here's who is Laura also working Duda's on, on some chairs. of these aspects as well uh, for, for, down, for the please. communities they they operate um and um I appreciate, uh, what you're saying um where are you suggesting these services because it's kind of a wide variety you're also talking about for children etc um obviously they're, they're not getting things at school anywhere that they need so uh, well all right. As, okay. as, Institutionally, um, one of the previous yeah, speakers has said, these services are needed more in like communities, like where we have the community or, or I hate when yeah, they the ask questions. Or community centers. There could be somebody there. When and they as, know, um, I, I, I this could be somebody's the, first time, and they're in, not in, sure in how to delegate. That, they're not sure about that service the jurisdiction to with children in schools. It is cool. just too much. So the guidance for just teachers to handle, especially in schools. Okay. Speaking as a parent, uh, point well taken. As a single um, mother, there she are said services that. Uh, that were work that we've uh, that have been established, such as Britannia Woods has got a mentoring program for Black youth as well as um, for families. A um, mentoring for program for exactly these reasons for for mental health concerns. Oh, what are you um, going to talk that's, about? That's big not enough. That's, the that's you know community. That's in girls and boys club um, next. I don't know if you're aware of it. That's 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 the other thing. It is not easy for us especially as single parents, to know of such um, Everything that's resources going on. and support. Because they don't even know almost too late to what's access going such. on. So knowing oh, where to nodding. go well, then I is, is key. A follow-up question. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And it, it's important to get that message out. So 
um, maybe we can talk after. And if you if you send me an email to my What's office, what's the point of the delegations if you're just going to talk we can, we can, after? Um, this is information for on, everybody who's watching. Right now. You do realize that she represents a whole what, cohort what of people who can't make it out um, to this, who have no time, who, who are afraid. Some, in, in in my opinion, I feel like they just don't sometimes understand. having she could be fired um, from her peer job. support within communities can actually I know help something to recommend her. I'm surprised Rolson, I would like Rolson King to speak up that and tell her about the peer support work. In the same ways. Some of us struggle quietly just like, oh, there's a black mental health coalition. see that that's happening. Yeah, but if there's like peer support within communities, I feel Absolutely. some of us would be more open Disjointed. to opening up to Might our as well fellow just go to church. And that is that wouldn't be easy unless Community members I have, have been I would love trained to share in with such her. fields, like they're taking the the mental aid, uh, the mental health first aid course. I feel like that would it's be a, a very emotional labor, useful way of getting peer supporters in within communities. They need more than peer yeah, support, like though, um, don't they? Can we talk offline and then we yeah, can talk yeah, about what's fine. needed in the community? Because uh, but let's just I have more there, time there for um, y'all to uh, go we'll, semantics we'll on. Do, but, um, low barrier very, very versus high barrier this is important shelter and blah um, and blah I, blah I think what you're telling me is we need prevention we don't want to wait crap. Okay. Yeah. thank you so much what about thank other you, people counselor. who are watching so that's the whole Ellen. purpose of this delegation not to be like you know what we'll look into it talk to me after and you put the onus on the resident the residents already come out here or yeah. made it on Zoom, Good afternoon, which, by the way, apparently they can't do like Zoom talks, hybrid talks to address for OPSB. For me to address the community and speak about the important issues concerning Centertown and Somerset Ward. Should give more respect to that speaker. Um, but no, off, they clap like, like seals for the other the one, working from CRA, who is speaking on behalf of his sister and offering him a job, basically. It's just so much double standard. Come on. My name is